that, okay? Yeah, is it okay? However you think you want it. Yeah. Let's do it. Can you scoop me a yeah, little bit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's going to be cozy. Now that you're on the couch. It's okay. Let's, let's start with some champagne, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, German champagne. You can see it's uh, Helles. Helles. One of the here, they say. So, uh, if you had to compare the time uh, before Binky and the time after Binky, um, has something changed in your lifestyle, yeah. in personality? I don't really remember. B, B and A B. Yeah, I don't really even remember what <laughs> life was like before Binky. Like I've heard a rumor um, that I used to be alive, um, but uh, no, I just think that uh, you know she's really good. You know, just ask her herself. <laughs> so you're really good. You have a good influence on him. I guess so. I don't know. I think we have a we have a good influence on each other. So that one can see in your <clears throat> songs together. They're they're different than the ones you did before. What what does specialize these songs? What does they make maybe more different? Um, I don't know. It's just what our our baby looks like. I guess I don't know. <laughs> you know, different people bring different things out of you. You know, and I guess this is what we brought out of each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like. Um, well, you, when I feel like usually when I write working on lyrics, like I can kind of go on lots of different tangents and be like, you know, certainly like uh, pursuing all kinds of like kind of surreal things that are kind of maybe hard for people to understand. And Binky can like really appreciate that side of my writing, but it can like pull it out, I feel like, of me more focus and like, and also I think like I can maybe get Binky to do more like sometimes like crazier things than she would normally do, like, you know, on her own. Crazy. <laughs> well, you know, like because, I'm a real like, you know, wild child. yeah, like I can, get, you know, she's like, I can, I bring out her wild child self. Um, so no, you yeah. see of your wild child. Oh on, yeah. On mm, yes, just keep, keep, hold your breath. <laughs> we will, we will. <laughs> okay. And when you write some songs, who has kind of the last word? If we say, okay, we'll keep it like that, or change it. I mean, I think whoever, whoever, if the song is finished and somebody is still uncertain about something, then whoever is uncertain will have the last word, you know, I guess. But it's a trade-off because we, we, we wanted to have every song to a point that we both approved of, you know. So I guess whoever feels like it has yeah. the last word. Yeah. That's good. We're, we're good with compromising with each other, which is cool. And like finding, not compromising, but co but compromising to be able to find an, a good uh, balance, you know, and find something that we both are happy with. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we would definitely venture on and on into writing a song if we didn't like, if one of us didn't like one of the parts, we wouldn't like keep it. We would just keep on figuring out a new thing. Okay. So, Adam, I noticed you're a very creative person in many ways uh, for example the art collection free men and a baby mm -hmm. and um, we brought you a little eastern egg oh. <laughs> here it is thanks yeah just open it <laughs> maybe and um, no, yeah <laughs> it's nothing alive there whoa mm. it's like a kinder surprise yes it's just huge in a oh. huge thing and this is a little sheep with a pencil oh. and something to paint. Okay. We also brought some water. Great, thanks. So we were like super good yeah, prepared. I'll, 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 I'll be his assistant. Okay. We'll set this guy here for inspiration. Yes. <laughs> and during that time, I would like to continue with Binky. Oh. <laughs> I would, if you had to describe um, Adam in a speech, like for a contest, his personalities or oh, his lifestyle, how would that speech be like? Um, <clears throat> well, God, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, that's tough because, well, I guess I would talk about how difficult it is to uh, talk about Adam <laughs> because he's a, a very unique individual that I feel like can't really be described because... Um, I know he's a he's a a rare and unique soul that you know you can see the the wheels turning when he when he thinks 
He's a very creative person. He's a, he's, I, I mean, I'm inspired by him. I think he's an inspiration to a lot of people. He's always doing something, as you can see. I don't know. I, I, I think that Adam is a, is a unique soul. <laughs> a very creative person. I think that he puts a lot of, um, a lot of his, his heart and soul into everything that he does. And I, I don't know, I, I admire him as a, it's weird talking about him while he's sort of pretending not to be here. And I, <laughs> <laughs> although, although he probably can't actually hear anything that we're saying because he's quite focused on drawing this sheep thing right now, but. You do know each other for some, some time. And I noticed that you were also involved in his movie Oh yeah, I had yeah, a little Uncle Sam cameo. Yeah, we were friends. We, I mean, we were we were good friends that had like a close. Well, I'd already been on with tour other, with, with with Binky because I did a Brazilian tour where I opened for Little Joy, which is Binky's old band, and they were really, really, really popular in Brazil, and they were just killing it, having amazing shows, and we were hanging out a lot on that tour. And I mean, even before that, I mean, we were hanging out in Los Angeles and stuff. We, Drinking Shopee. We drink Shopee, which is a Brazilian um, <laughs> brand of, no, it's a, it's a kind of beer. Kind of? It's more like a size, of, it's more like the size of the beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's so important when you're drinking a Shopee. Okay, I must try that. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not, as, you know, always, I mean, it's different than a Hellas. Let's just say it's a little different. And I don't know, you know, we love Oktoberfest and all that stuff too, and we're crazy. Oh, so you have been to Oktoberfest? Sure, yeah, sure. Oh, with the leader who's nice, I've seen. Naturally, yeah. Yeah, I have a goat's beard. You can't really see, but I'm wearing a goat's beard on my suspenders. <laughs> Groomed um, I have also an, an Italian hat, but in the Alpine style. <laughs> what intention did you have, maybe, um, by producing this movie? Well... Um, I guess I wanted to try to like, you know, kind of invent some kind of culture. You know, like I think it's important as an artist sometimes to sort of try and invent culture. And in this case, this was like my attempt to sort of like, you know, be I think more do more than like music and stuff, you know, just sort of like, you know, like it's like about a kind of music that became a lifestyle and then kind of lifestyle that became um, what's a metallic death style. <laughs> That's from the Metallica movie. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you have any other film projects in mind? Yeah, I'd like to make a movie about uh, Aladdin. Um, it's my own version of Aladdin. I, I want Binky to be in it. Um, so working on that. Uh, I'm trying to get Benicio Del Toro to play the genie. Uh, and also to be your friend. And to be my older brother. <laughs> uh, Could you imagine putting this situation in your new movie? Yeah, I think I'd have to recontextualize it and maybe cast you with like, um, you know, like a like a genie or something. A genie? Mm. Okay. Good. <laughs> Why don't you give her lantern a rub? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, the thing about <laughs> Aladdin is I've got the lamp already. Okay. Well, Do you I know, have a, you I know have... the story. It's about the wishes. Yes, yes. Or, I have a, actually a genie lamp from Egypt hmm. on my home, so... Really? Maybe it's... Well, I think... And that <laughs> no, but I yeah, I definitely I I feel like I understand what you mean. Like I could definitely use this situation. I actually wanted to do an an interview, like a sexual interview. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Let's go. Oh, you brought your, your lantern. <laughs> 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 well, um, Check out that lantern. Okay. Reality. Right. <laughs> Sex? Oh, fuck. I'm bad at this game. Oh, man. Do I have to play this game? Uh, sex. It's the first thing that comes up. O'clock. Microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, because we have this thing about the shadow. Uh, we have this thing about this microphone. Yeah, because it makes a shadow on your face, you know, <laughs> when you're giving an interview. Okay, but people see that it's a microphone. So well, it the, people don't be scared. They, they they think people that's people think that it's a microphone, but they actually just see a shadow that looks a lot like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll we'll cut it out if it feels you better. If it makes you feel better, <laughs> don't be concerned about Mike. that. Just blur it out. 
Yeah, we did the sound. That's just a big spot, then. Yeah, big spot. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the second word. Mm -mm. Love. Love. Yes. Um. Love. Uh, uh, that's so. That's very tough. Um. Let's see. Um, oh, what was that? Actually, reminds me of an anecdote about a, a card player from a Pied Montese. Um, <laughs> apparently, he was looking for love, but not quite the definition of the word love as you may think of now. More of a medieval kind of courtship love. And he was on a a trip with two musician friends, actually from Bremen, and um, well, they congregated around a local taverna, and the uh, bartender uh, came to serve them traditional German meal, Leberkäse, uh, <laughs> white, the Weiss first, and uh, they had a I think large beers, nothing special, uh, and so they at the end of the night they retire. Uh, uh, but before retiring, I naturally play a card game, and the card game they chose to play was Briscola or Scopa, or what have you. And <laughs> I don't so know. That's what you associate with love. This is how Adam. This is how Adam rescues me from situations. I just like slip out while he's telling the story. Usually. Okay. No, but anyway, naturally, so the bartender was asking them what they did think that was the word that they would most associate with love. Um, and the first uh, musician said that his wife. Was, was the thing. And the second, uh, the card player, uh, said that it was his, his cards, his, the game that he had was, was what, what it was. But the third musician uh, was, a, was, a, was a, a folk singer, and he said um, that uh, he believed that, um, that love uh, was um, just to soothe, uh, you know, uh, soothing, you know? Like, uh, he just, it was a medicine. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe that it, ultimately the Swiss uh, uh, card player chose the, the medicine over, over, over all the others. So do you also, <laughs> is that kind of, like love can... You understand, you right? <laughs> um, I try to. So love can cure you in a kind of way? Yeah. It also can make you ill if you have overdoses? Or? You know, it's funny because it's like when Bon Jovi said, you give love a bad name, that's a very good line, you know? But then when he said, your love is like bad medicine, that's a very bad line. Yeah, so it depends on what. So what I don't know. I think at. we can we can try to take Bon Jovi's advice. Octopus shoes. Octopus shoes. Um, um, I think of uh, SpongeBob Schwammkopf. Oh, so you know what SpongeBob? <laughs> 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 there are many adult people that watch it. Well, I I I I I did. I I did used to watch that show. Yes, it was a. Was a, a classic in in all countries. Okay. okay. Oh, that's bad for the picture, huh? It's maybe it's good for the picture. Well, maybe. Do you want to find out? <laughs> <laughs> so the second one for you, Adam, is Israel. Israel? Mm. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, the internet. Do you have that other story? <laughs> I guess the internet. Do you have a story about that? Because I always associate with reading about Israel on the internet. Okay, good. Then last torturous thing okay, wait, for wait, you. Wait, wait. So what is it? What, what do we got? So um, <clears throat> I was to say something, and you just react how you would look or with your face or gesture. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So how do you feel before going on stage? <laughs> Do you have that? <laughs> Here, I'll, am I doing mine at the camera? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, and... Good. How was your first time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. How do you blow hair out of your face? It's a real 90s move. <laughs> and your your facial expression to that. <laughs> well, that's nice. Okay, and how did you like this interview?
<laughs> I can see you, but. Hey. <laughs> Well, that's it, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, all right. Do you want maybe just to tell us what we passed, what we, you yeah. see in this uh, picture? Yeah, it's like, um, like I guess like a yellow cat. Um, you know what I see? What? Have you ever seen that movie Moonwalker, that Michael Jackson movie, Moonwalker? Just There's these like two uh, bunny rabbits that are like turn into what do they turn into police officers or something? Oh, no, they turn into Michael Jackson. Oh, it's one bunny rabbit. It turns into Michael Jackson. I was getting them mixed up with the yeah. fat chubby twins, and uh, he it is actually Michael Jackson, but he's made out of clay and he does the all of his moves and stuff. And this guy, that's what this guy reminds me of. It was one of my favorite movies as a child, Moonwalker. You should watch it if you yeah. haven't seen okay, it. Yeah. Okay, I will. Yeah. Cool. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks thank for having you. us on the show. Can you give us a signature for this nice painting? Not sure. Very nice. <coughs> you want to finish it off? Yeah, sure. I think it's pretty good. Uh,